Welcome design students. In this video series we're going to create a spaceship that looks kind of like this one. And we're going to use a modifier called symmetry very extensively in this project. And what this modifier allows us to do is to perform a process on one side of an object and have it duplicate to the other side. And this of course saves us a lot of time. We're also going to use commands you're familiar with by now, extrude and bevel and inset. And then at the end, we're going to export our model and put it in Unreal and fly it around. Now, your spaceship is going to look significantly different than mine because what this allows you to do is create a spaceship that um, basically looks different every time. I had no idea what this spaceship was going to look like when I started, and I've done several of these. Let me show you. Here's uh, the one you just saw. Here's another one I made earlier. made this one in Maya. And here's the first one I made with this process. And you can see each one looks a little different. And I expect that when we're finished, yours will look different too. So let's get started. So the first thing you're going to need to do for this project and for every new project is create a project folder. So go to File, Project, Create Default. And I'm going to put this in my 3D Max 2023 folder on my external hard drive here. You can put yours in your class folder. And I'm going to click New Folder. And I'm going to name this Spaceship 02 because I already have a Spaceships folder. And I'm going to push Enter. And then with that folder still selected, I'm going to click Select Folder. And then before I start and do anything, I'm going to go to File, Save As, and go ahead and save my scene file in my new project folder. I'm going to name it Ship01 and see it's going in my Spaceships 02 Scenes folder. So the first thing we need is a box. So let's go to the Create tab, Geometry, and select Box. And then we're going to drag sort of a box out in the top viewport and maybe make it about like so. And then go to the Modify tab. And I want to be sure and give it one segment. This happens to be a width segment. You just want to cut it in half. And then let's go down to the Perspective view. And under Shading, turn on Edged Faces so we can see that see it. So when we bring this thing into Unreal, we may have to turn it so it's facing a different direction, but I think for now we're good. Now we're not going to need to subdivide this anymore at this point, so I'm going to go ahead and right click, bringing up the quad menu, go down to the bottom of it, and convert to an editable poly. And then I want you to select your move tool, and then I want you to come down to the bottom where the coordinates are listed and I want you to right click on each spinner X, Y, and Z to make sure it's centered and on the ground of the grid. Okay, the next thing we need to do is go to polygon mode and we can do that by clicking here. We can also open up the editable poly rollout and click here or we can right click and from the quad menu select polygon. Either way we need to select half of our box and delete it by pushing delete on your keyboard. And then we need to exit sub-object mode by either clicking here or you can click here in the editable poly modifier rollout. And then we're going to pull down our modifier list and we're going to find symmetry. Now once we do that we need to select the proper axis it's uh, on Z by default. We don't want Z, so let's turn that one off. And let's try X, and when we do, it disappears. X is clearly the axis we want it to mirror on. So I think what we need to do is click this flip checkbox, and that fixes it for us. All right, so we're going to start modeling this thing in the next video, but before we do, I want to show you how this works. If we go down into polygon mode, you'll notice that half of it disappears. If I do anything to this half, like, um, I don't know, extrude this and scale it down, then when I go back up to the modifier, you'll see that that result 
has been duplicated to the other side. But in order for us to model, we need to be down into the editable poly modifier in the polygon mode. And when we do that, the modifier, the symmetry modifier, goes away. So what we need to do is push this button right here, show end result, and that will show us what happens above in the modifier stack. So now anything we do to this side will transfer over to the other side. And that is exactly what we want. The orange side, the side outlined in orange, is the side that you can select and work on. So when we come back in the next video, we're going to start modeling our spaceship. And I'll see you then.